Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's devotional. Uh, today we're looking at Proverbs 22, verse 28. It says, Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. And that's a weird verse, uh, especially like to do a devotional on. Uh, and you wonder what in the world does the writer mean here? Who really cares if some ancient stones were moved around? Well, this doesn't seem much probably to us because we don't really fully grasp what this verse means in the context of the writer's culture. This is actually a big deal. You know, let's talk a little bit for owning a home. What does that look like? Um, and I'm, I am getting to a point with this, okay? I remember when I first bought my home, it was a, a surreal experience owning a piece of property with a home on it. Um, and as a part of the home purchase, my wife and I, we actually also bought a vacant lot uh, that was adjoined to that home property. And when we sold the home seven years later, we kept the vacant lot. And there's something very empowering about this feeling of owning a piece of land. Uh, can't really explain it, but it's just kind of cool. And for people living in Solomon's day, owning land meant even more than it does to us. Owning land was a very important part of a person's and a family's identity. Land and animal possessions were more indicative of a person's wealth than the actual possession of money more, more often than not. And so if, if someone was to move an ancient boundary stone, they were actually honing in on somebody else's long, hard worked for uh, family wealth. A person who was willing to move a boundary so that his own land would become larger was actually taking away uh, this hard-earned land of somebody else. The land was necessary to that family's well-being. Proverbs 22 uh, verses 24 through 27, before this, these verses we just read, they were all verses that discussed self-protection. And those verses are, are surrounded by, by verse 23 in this verse, which are, are all about protecting others who may be powerless otherwise. As a person would over time kind of little by little move his boundary markers further into his neighbor's land without being, it being noticed, we also sometimes hone in little by little on what is rightfully somebody else's possession. You know, the boss who takes credit for all the successful work that's being done by her workers. Uh, the person who is too cheap to sufficiently tip the hard working waitress. The person who constantly makes snide remarks to the person that he's intimidated by, trying to make himself feel a little bit better in the process. It's, it's really not an uncommon phenomenon that we do this. We, we try to take more for ourselves, but we do so by taking from somebody else what they've earned. Jesus never takes from people what they've earned. He, in fact, he gives us more than what we've earned at the expense of himself. Instead of trying to find ways to get more for yourself at the expense of others, do what you can to give something to somebody else today at your own expense. That really is the way of Jesus. It's his way of grace and sacrifice being lived out each and every day. Let's, let's be a little bit like Jesus today. Let's pray. Lord, uh, I ask that you'd forgive me of the times where I've, I've done things that haven't always been kind to others and caring of others in trying to get myself into a better position. God, I pray that you would Help us to be willing to expend ourselves so others could be put in a better position today. Uh, I thank you that that's what Jesus did for me in going to the cross to die for me. God, I pray that we would all be sacrificial in that way today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, we'll see you next time.